Uh, hi, my name is Shakira and in this video I'll be explaining A-level philosophy and religion, verifying religious experiences. Um, verifying religious experiences can be split into religious experiences can be verified or they cannot or they're challenging uh, to verify. This video will cover Richard Swinburne's principle of credulity and testimony, three zip Albius threefold test, Roman Catholic assessment of visions and Dr. Michael Persinger's God helmet and Freud. Um, at the end of the video, I will discuss some exam questions. Uh, Richard Swinburne was a professor of philosophy at Cambridge University. He equates religious experiences to ordinary experiences, in which um, a quotation is, if X is present to a person, then X is probably present. Therefore, if a person says they had a religious experience, why not believe them? Um, Swinburne states that credulity and testimony are essential to all rationality. Um, however, if a subject is usually unreliable or similar um, situations have been uh, proven unlikely in the past, or if X can be accounted for in other ways, then we should not believe the individual. Um, however, it's important to note that even if the source of the religious experience is ordinary, um, it still can be interpreted by the individual as something of religious experience. Teresa of Alvia of the 15th century was a Spanish noblewoman of the Catholic denomination. She believed that Christ works through people. Um, Christ has no body but my own, as a quotation. Um, and the threefold test through the threefold test, we can verify religious experiences. Um, the experience has to conform to the church's teachings. It has to increase humility and charity, and it must be approved by a spiritual director. Therefore, religious experiences can be verified. This is similar to the Roman Catholic assessment of visions, in which um, visions will be assessed by a local diocese and a bishop um, to check if there's nothing contrary to the faith and then if the vision increases faith and belief of people who believe then a state public statement will be given by the bishop and it'll be put into the liturgical calendar. However, um, criticisms of verifying religious experiences include Dr Michael Perkinsinger, he was a Canadian scientist and concluded forms of epilepsy are associated with religious experiences. This led to research called neurotheology. Um, people like Ruthie, who was an atheist who had a religious experiences, who had a religious experience. Um, it's like, how did he gain such experience? <laughs> Persinger suggested a correlation between temporal lobe epilepsy and religious experiences, um, which led him, which guided him to create the God Helmet, which controls magnetic field of the brain, in which 80% of his um, participants of research felt the feeling of not being alone. An example of this is Ellen White. An example of a suggested temporal lobe epilepsy is Ellen White, born in 1827. She suffered a brain injury and began to see powerful religious visions. Neurologist Gregory Holmes believed that temporal lobe epilepsy explains her condition and that actually she wasn't experiences in, in which her experience was not a religious one. Therefore, temporal lobe ep epilepsy explains um, explanation is against the verification of religious experiences. Freud suggested that religious experiences are a reaction to a hostile environment and therefore he dismissed um, mysticism as evidence of regressive infantile obsessions which results in dreamlike sensations, religious experiences. And what are the consequences of verifying religious experiences? It could um, increase charity and humility. On the other hand, it could um, have damaging consequences. For example, Jim Jones, 1970s, he claimed to have religious experiences. However, his influence mixed with power made probably poor mental health. 
um, resulted in a mass suicide of 1,000 people. That really shows, um, in hindsight, he may have suffered from psychopathic logical condition, which could have been prevented if his experience was, um, like, unverified, if it was not taken as true. Religious experiences can be debunked through temporal lobe epilepsy, poor mental health. However, there is no objective way of reaching God. Um, this is a quote from the Danish philosopher Kierkegaard, in which he says, Sure, um, temporal lobe epilepsy or mental health is an explanation for the, for the experience to not be religious. However, we have no... <laughs> we have my cat playing in the background. However, we have no information to say that isn't the means in which um, God contacts people through such religious experiences. Um, religious experience, some exam questions for religious experiences include explain how religious experiences can be verified. That would be an A question, um, which you would use the information provided, which I have provided in this video. A B question would be like, religious experiences cannot be verified, assess this view. That is the end of the video, I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye!